good morning how y'all doing today it is a beautiful saturday morning let me see if i'm lying to y'all because i really haven't checked i mean it's another day above ground but oh. yeah it's pretty nice out it's a little um cloudy but still nice out so i'm about to make breakfast time is it it's dark in here i'm sorry y'all i'm about to make breakfast at 11 o'clock i'm not doing nothing special just some sausage and i got a muffin left over so i have that and then we are going um saying here where it's light we are going to this um like book event y'all know i'm a nerd I am a nerd. I still got to do my hair. Um, but don't pay attention to what's going on back there. I still, um, what am I talking about? Oh, I'm going to the library. Yes, I am willingly going to a library on a Saturday afternoon because I am a nerd. <coughs> Excuse me. So the reason I want to go is because the keynote speaker is Rashonda Tate Billingsley. And if you read um, African American fiction, then you might have heard of her. Oh, my battery low already? I gotta plug this camera in. So I'm gonna go talk with her. And I actually signed a contract with her publishing company. So hopefully I can talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. But it'll still be interesting to just hear her speak. Because I'm a new author. I still consider myself a new author. I only have one book out. And I've written the second one, but I need to rewrite it. And I haven't been able to do that because of my health this year. So I like to learn all that I can from people who have been in the publish the publishing industry for quite a few years. So if nothing else, I can hear her speak, but I need to hurry up so I'm not late. Um, and Carolyn's going with me and then we're going to try on dresses. My sister's getting married in June and we are so late in doing anything. It's a casual beach wedding, so we don't need anything fancy. So hopefully they'll have something and um, we're going to Davis Rido because we're not trying to spend a lot of money for this. And I saw some on sale for like 50 bucks. So I hope they have it. And um, that's about it. So I'll check back in with y'all in a minute. I got to plug this camera in. We're here, y'all. We're at the Benjamin L. Hook Central Library in Memphis. For book stock. So they've got live entertainment. Hallelujah FM is here. If you listen to that station. Live bands. People out here eating. It's real cute. We late though. We 30 minutes late for Shonda. So let me get in here. Position you study position. Victoria was at the top of the game, and I knew that that's where I wanted to be, so I studied some of the things that she was doing, down to setting up what's called Google Alerts. She calls it stalking now. She said I was stalking her. But I set up Google Alerts, so and a Google Alert let me know any time that she appeared somewhere, I would get a Google Alert. So if Victoria was at Bookstock, in 2013, I would get an alert saying Victoria's appearing at Bookstock. Well, next year, Bookstock will need somebody else. So I would send my press kit. And so that's how I was able to build my career. And she was very open in, in the journey. So that's how we got to, to be business partners and how I got to be on the same level at this point. Any other questions? One of the things that I do hope you'll uh, do is, is check out my latest book, A Blessing and a Curse. And what I did in A Blessing and a Curse, it is the final book in the, uh, in the series that I wrote with Victoria. We took a book, uh, Victoria's from New York. I am from Smackover, so she's a city girl, I'm a country girl. And she came home with me for the summer, I mean for a family reunion during the summer, and it was a phenomenal experience. We had so much fun, had this city girl who had never been in the country, down to when we first arrived and all of my relatives were sitting outside on the, on the um, grass listening to music. Um, she was shocked because they were listening to it in the truck. You know, we had the truck doors open. So she was mortified at that. She was mortified that the first person she would meet was my cousin Junebug. 
Um, and Juba took a liking to her, and I told her, well, you can date Juba, but you just are bringing this city girl to the country that we created uh, that with a blessing and a curse. We have her main character come down to the country and experience country life. So that's my latest book, A Blessing and a Curse. And Seeking Sarah comes out in the summer of August 15th. And then in 2018, one of the books I'm most proud of is The Book in Room 316. It is about a Bible that is in room 316 at a hotel and how it affects all of those people that come in. So the my first woman comes in, she's, she's upset cool. at her husband, and she's about to commit infidelity. This Bible changes her life. The second man, an elderly man, comes in to commit suicide because he can't live with his wife for 56 years after her death, and the Bible changes his life. The, the housekeeper comes in, and then just as she picks the Bible up, she's about to be deported. And the Bible changes her life, and then a young man running from a gang ends up getting in touch with the Bible, and the Bible changes his life, too. So it's called The Book in Room 316. All right, if there are no more questions, I do want to take a picture real quick. So if you have a warrant, or uh, you're supposed to be at work, <laughs> don't blame me. I <laughs> So I just met um, Rashonda and she was so nice. We got a cute picture, which I'll insert here. In the video. And I'm thankful that in a few minutes, you know, once she gets done making that money, I can sit, I mean, maybe hopefully talk with her for a couple of minutes about the direction of Brown Girls and uh, my next book. So that should be a good thing. But it is crowded up in here, y'all. Look at all these people. All these folks. And you know, and we here late, so it's probably way more people. It was probably way more people earlier. But um, we only made it for the tail end of her like inspirational message or you know talking about all of her books and I hate that but it's okay. It's my fault we were late because I move so slow these days but we, we're not too late. We still got to talk with her and hear the tail end which was good. So maybe somebody takes it from the library and I can see the whole thing hopefully. Um, so I'll talk to y'all later. Hey y'all, so we left Chad. I don't know if it was real hot in there or if it was just me. I had to go ahead and get on my phone because my camera dying and the charger thingy that I have for it, I don't know, it's not working for some reason right now, so whatever. So I had to leave. I never did get a chance to talk to Rashonda because I guess she was, well duh, I know she did sell books. But, um, so I couldn't wait because we have an appointment at David's Bridal for my sister's mother. Having one of my, um, I don't know, thyroid jacked up days for some reason because I just could not stop sweating, y'all. I got the air blasting. I hope you can hear me. I got the air blasting right now. Sometimes it just, I don't know, I just can't, my body can't calm down. So I couldn't stand and wait until, you know, she had a lull. Cause she had a nice little crowd coming around, which is good. And, you know, everybody wants to take pictures and everything, but I got a good picture. My assistant <laughs> took a good picture, but Rashad didn't have anybody with her, so it's kind of hard, I guess. So much going on, I guess. So I want, I was trying to wait for her to get a business card so I could have her email, but we had to go. So I'll just look on the website and find out if I'm still part of the contract or if I've been released from my contract so I'll know how to proceed with my ministry because this is what I consider my book writing I consider it a ministry and I feel like a lot of the stuff I've been going through for the last year or so are we on proper? girl I'm driving like I know where I'm going yes we on proper okay a lot of things I've been going through this last year I don't have no makeup on either I probably should have really put a face on if I known I was going to be getting my picture I just did my lips and eyes but whatever um, I feel like it's a ministry and I think that a lot of what I've been going through this year and a lot of the work I did when I was in therapy was instrumental to uh, this book that I already wrote that I want to rewrite, that I'm going to rewrite when my health gets back on track because people need to hear about this book. I'm going to tackle 
a lot of issues, especially as it pertains to African American women, because we are tired. We are tired, and we need help, and we need therapy, and we need to resolve a lot of our issues. And I mean, God said, you know, He'll renew our strength, and we'll rise up. Was it mount up? Rise up on wings as eagles. Are you listening? Now tub, yes. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna look the scripture up. Because y'all know I be half plugging <laughs> these scriptures, but I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, That's what I said. Thank you. And I know he's a guy who's restores because you know what? People, especially I think a lot of people don't like talking about their struggles in life, but I think especially um in the African American community among black women, it's like you're supposed to be a strong black woman woman and we tired. We are tired, okay? And I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. And I've been, it's been just stirring up in my spirit about how important this book is, is going to be, and how many women it's going to help. So that's why I know I have to get it out, and I'm passionate about it, and I'm going to get it out. Regardless, if it's with Brown Girls Books, wonderful. If it's not, it's going to be out. Trust me, one way or another. I ain't riding that. Oh, he's happy. This man out here riding this bike, this old man. Look like I hope that's his daughter. <laughs> hope that ain't his girlfriend, cause that's a huge about thirty years on it. It's like they having the time of their life. <laughs> but so it was good. I couldn't stay long, as usual. So much stuff. I will never take for granted. When my health is fully restored, I will not take it for granted. Okay? Because it's so many simple things that take a toll on my body and it's annoying but it's temporary what they got going on at the park it's packed you know sometimes in the summer it's not really summer yet they have the music festivals or maybe it's just a nice day and everybody out i can't tell but it was um it was good to meet her and i did get some good information that i needed didn't i i said i got some good information that i needed Oh. about who to send my stuff and what yeah. to do now because I didn't know what was going on. I had reached out to the previous editor but she never got back to me. So I was like, well, I'll chase her. I Listen, y'all, listen. A sister like me, I stand on the scripture that your gift will make room for you and bring you before great and mighty people. I paraphrase that. I paraphrase the heck out of that. But you know what I'm trying to say? And I have stood on that scripture and I don't chase people for my blessings because I don't think it's necessary so if I can't get the communication sorry Carol if I can't get the communication that I need then I'm saying I did my due diligence and hopefully I won't get sued if I publish my book on my own because you know I've done what I have what I should do to try to be right and of course I know I am not a dummy so if I'm released from my contract I will get that in writing so that um I can do what I need to do. Yeah. I ain't gonna talk about this creeping old man because he got God so loved on his bumper sticker. So I'm not gonna talk about him creeping. Everybody all riding bikes. <laughs> They're so happy. <laughs> you know, at the, um, I think he is a rental of places by us. Oh, Panera this way. By us. It's not not by us when we go on the vacation. When I just wedding or Booga's, ooh, I didn't say her name. Mm -hmm. Oh well, the Booga's wedding. They have um, you can ride along the boardwalk. They have there along the coast. You know the beach communities. They always have a lot of like thing, and I'm looking forward to it because I need a little vacation. Even though I ain't got no job right now, <laughs> I'm like, I still need a vacation, honey. Tommy, you ain't. Got no job. Well, you know what? Let me be fancy. I'm self-employed. Please. I ain't wrote a book. And I don't know how long. <laughs> There's always some people that need to be on their medication yes. down here. Poor things. Always. Always on you. Always on you. Right. Just a little break. Poor things. And see, I used to work at a place that would help people like that. And you know what? It was kind of stressful because it's like a high, what is it, high volume? Yeah, high volume 
situation and dealing with a lot of crisis and have to do crisis intervention and everything every day. I you can hang. I really enjoyed it. Stimulation? Yes, but I love it. The days fly by and I really find fulfillment through my job when I'm really helping people. Nervous because right? I don't feel for the people because I feel too much. Yeah, I did um kind of. Ooh, the boots outside is open. You gonna sit outside or you think it's too hot? I need to be inside. I need to be inside. Yeah, I'm gonna be dehydrated to the mud. God, that's what I'm doing. Did I? Okay, brother. You got a tampon on? Yes, but um. Yeah, I really enjoy working at places like that. And that was one of the things that I didn't like about my last job. Yes, I was helping people, but I didn't have that one-on-one -on -one contact or not one-on-one, -on -one, close up contact. It was just like phone. I feel like I'm too close. Let's see if I can get up. I think it's like a sleeve though. Let me go. Let me pull in. Well, she's leaving. Is that uh okay. Hallelujah. So that was one thing that I kind of want with my next one. Because I'm good at um, people in crisis. I'm good at helping people in crisis. And my therapist one day, one of my old therapists, because I'm not even in therapy anymore because I ain't got no insurance. And if you're my family and you're watching this, don't be telling my mom. Because I haven't told her yet because my sister is getting married and I don't want her stressed out. She's worried about me anyway because I've been sick. I don't want her being worried that I'm sick and unemployed and without insurance. She would be so jacked up. So let's keep this between us. I'm going to tell her after the wedding. So, but that's one, uh, I forgot my point. Anyway, we about to go in here. Bye. Y'all, we had to leave for there. We just went in there to use the bathroom. Something was wrong with their air conditioning. It was all humid in there. Left on what? Okay, so this light. Oh, so I, I wanted to finish telling y'all what I was saying before we went in about why I'm good in crises. And one of my old therapists said, um, she was like, sometimes when you are raised or you are brought up kind of in a chaotic environment, not it's in like no shade. I'm not trying to say. That it was just totally crazy but we did have some would you say it's fair issues mm -hmm. so um it's like i can i know how to i'm comfortable in it basically they saying like sometimes when you're raised when things are kind of you said left yes I'm oh <laughs> y'all this kid behind me they're trying to make it look like a range hmm. they're trying to make it look like a range or a range rover or mm -hmm. Cadillac or something but so I'm comfortable in it but that's why I can help people in it because I'm not I don't be scared like when I used to work at that shelter and it used to be some hardened crim criminals getting out I mean fresh out I'm like they got a bus pass when they were released from prison they came straight there I wouldn't be scared of them I'll just let them know I'm here to help you as much as I can and um, show you what all we have to offer and just treat them with respect and kindness and then people won't gonna bother you so really sister is it that serious so I just want to complete that because I hate when people when I start my thought and then don't finish it I'm like she didn't finish the story so my therapist was saying that's one good thing um, you can definitely thank. Oh, you can thank. You said I was gonna turn. Thank your stepfather for, and even my mama. You know, she was wild. <laughs> and um, all of that, like you learned how to make it through that stuff, and then there can be good in that because you can help other people when they're in crisis because you've been there. And you know how to keep a level head. So I kind of thrive on places. Like I think I might enjoy working in the ER probably. But this, these ERs don't be packed and stuff like it is. Maybe that one downtown in Midtown. Because I was there when I left straight from working went to the ER. 
I was there so long, it was ridiculous. But the other ones I've been to, it's like, it's not really popping. And it definitely was a lot going on in that one. But, I don't know. Maybe it's like, maybe that season, it's over. I've just been so thirsty lately. That's your water, it's my water, huh? So we, we're going, just gonna go over there by uh, Wolf Chase Galleria, where we have our appointment and just eat over there and then go straight to the appointment. I really could have left it at, what, 2.30 was our original appointment, right? I could have left it at this 2.30. I thought I was gonna be at the bookstop longer, but I really was not feeling well when I was there. And I just wanted to get up out of there because it was close, it was close quarters. And I don't like crowds. And I wasn't feeling well, so. <clears throat> I'm turning right here. So I'll see y'all at the restaurant. Hey, hey y'all, so I'm here at David's Bardo trying on dresses for my sister and these are the ones I have so far. I really like this one. I'll show y'all this one is on my tip. So we found our dresses. Yay! Um, I filmed myself. I think I so it should be in there. I ended up getting that loose one with the round. So it's kind of like a halter dress, yeah, but it's halter. not a halter at all. But it goes up like right here. Whatever. Y'all saw it. I tried to film it. I probably didn't do a good enough job of it. Because it was hot in there to me. Where you at? I guess it was just me having one of my moments and I'm so tired um, it was real hot to me and so picture it with some good foundation garments y'all it's important especially for us more to love sisters to please have on you some decent foundation garments please 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 especially at a formal event so I like it because you know my girls are all covered up I don't have to worry about that and I got my sister's approval Booga. she said it was pretty and I was like cool so got that out the way got our rooms well our home away we're doing a condo home away this time got that done well still need to make our second payment by June but got it booked and what else do we have to do we got the venue for the reception I left my uh I left my bank card at home so, as soon as I get home, I'll call and give her that information. And I don't know what else. Oh, well, decor. It depends on what package we choose for the reception. Um, we might want to do a little bit of decor. But this is going to be the fun part. It was just like, it was stressing me out. The major stuff was stressing me out. I'm like, we counting down because I haven't been well. And you know, I'm the rock. <laughs> Can I hate when I say that, but it's the truth. I'm the rock. So I have to help plan. My sister did her wedding herself. Like she planned all of that. Whatever's happening in the ceremony, um, it's gonna be a surprise to the rest of us. So she and her fiance, my future brother-in-law, did all of that. But as far as stuff on our end, if I don't step up and do it, it won't get done. Cause my sister and my mama they just was my sister real laid back and say go with the flow and then my mama just don't know what to do so I had to pull it together even though I don't feel right gotta get it together and I ran into one of my people from therapy while I was in uh we went to end up going to nukes instead of Panera Bread did I tell you it was humid or something in there we didn't go to Panera Bread so we ended up going to nukes and I ran into one of my old people from therapy y'all so glad to see her I had been wondering how she was doing, but this time I made sure she got my number. So, are we supposed to be meeting for coffee or something soon? That'll be fun. Catch up on her life. But I'm so glad we. I found my dress. I didn't film Carolyn. I wasn't thinking, y'all. I was just hot. I barely filmed myself, but she got a like off the shoulder number. First, you was looking at this Greek, Greece. Yeah. 
I don't know. How did she feel about that one? I thought it was cute. I, she was tying it all kind of different ways. What were you planning on doing? Just tying it in a knot? No, it was so we let it because it was strapless. It was oh. Strapless dress. Oh, okay. Why? You wish you had gotten that Because it was long too. Oh, she didn't want a long dress, y'all. She said she's clumsy and she's scared she'll trip. So. Tripping all in the so. <laughs> dressing room. Tripping all in the dressing room. So I guess she did right. She was saying, the lady said it could have been short. But, uh, but you don't want to do all the alterations. We last minute. Beach, yeah. You don't want to do all that. Yeah, oh yeah, that's with our accessories. But that's nothing. Like, you don't have to trip off that. You can get that from anywhere. So it's all coming together. Well, my sister had her and Ben together. We're the ones that insisted on some kind of like semi, not really a reception. It's not a reception because they, I tried to talk to them to do a first dance and everything. So I don't know, they might do that, but they're very shy, both of them quiet people. And they don't want a lot of hoopla. She said she just want to have dinner, greet her guests, have some toast. Um, from immediate family and that's it so ringlets oh for your hair like old school ringlets what you what you got to describe what kind of ringlets like, you talking you know, like, about like loose or i think i'll be too wild at the well you can be wild with the wind are you you're not talking about like wine curls like i did like i used to do for my hair you know wine curls like i did you say yeah I did it um, for Michelle's wedding, but I did it on my afro. I didn't straighten my hair. Are you talking about with your hair straightened yeah. and then wine curls? Yeah. I think that'd be pretty. I don't know. I, you trying to have me do it? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> they trying to kill me, y'all. They trying to kill me. Uh, you Yeah, let's ask Tiffany. Tiffany got them skills, but she already doing our makeup. We can't kill her. I don't know if you depend on how you sleep because I don't want to be doing all that the day. Because you know, it's not about us on the day, it's about boo. So, we'll, we'll discuss. We will discuss. I guess what I could do, y'all probably like they just talking. <laughs> what I could do is um, like straighten it and everything before we even leave. Like have it kind of straight and then just do the wine curls that morning or something because you got so much hair i'm gonna put a clip in right here uh, of when yeah. i straightened her hair last time it's almost down to her waist when it's straight anybody got time for all that that's why i cut mine shoot i was tired and i love it I, it's so easy to do my hair now i was like this is the best decision i ever made i love it so easy like detangling a breeze washing a breeze styling a breeze love it but people keep talking about like my mama was saying you're supposed to have long hair for a beach wedding you're supposed to be blowing in the wind i'm like oh, i don't nasty. know says nancy but i was when she first you know when she first got engaged i was like oh i can just do some clip ins but now i don't even want to be bothered with all that like I got a bob. I'll straighten it, you know, for tradition's sake if that's what she wants. But I ain't, I don't know. Who knows what I'll end up doing by then. That's more money that I don't have, especially, you know, sister. <laughs> I'm going like, um, I think I'm gonna close the vlog out right here, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the semi shopping with us and um, <coughs> the little snippet of Rashonda Tate Billingsley. And if y'all don't know, she's the one that did the Let the Church Say Amen movie. Now, if you don't read her books, I know you probably heard of the movie. So that's her. So I hope you enjoyed that and helping or being there with me when I tried on a couple of them dresses. But I'm probably going to close it out because we, we head home now. And I'm probably not going to do anything there. So, it was great talking to y'all. Can't put off again. Love seeing y'all. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.